So my name is Kit. I who who's here doesn't have my number yet, so I can give you my business card. Have you got my number? Card, so in case you need to talk to me, you can ring me or you can PM me on Facebook. Who else does that? Right? All, all the rest of them. All right, let's so show here. All right, thank you. So tonight, this will be a, what we call a distributor training. I understand there's a few here who are distributors yet, but yeah, feel free to, to interact. All right, before we start, just a few rules here, uh, you know, we, uh, you have to give this your undivided attention, so I'm going to request all the rest to please uh, put off or put on silent our mobile phone, please. If for any reason you really need to answer any call, then you can just walk there and uh, answer it there so as not to distract the, the audience, right? And uh, I presume you brought your uh, kit for the distributors and you can take notes. Feel free to ask questions anytime. Now, all right. Now I will start with this training with, uh, you know, most of you who are already enrolled and have gone some, some form of training or orientation on how do you do presentations. And there is always that question and what is your why, right? Now, just for the training to be effective, it is not enough for the trainer to say what he wants to say, or to train what he wants to train, or to discuss what he wants to discuss. The effectivity of the training depends on how much of it you were able to learn and pick up and use it in your own presentation. So let me start with trying to understand what is or what are our individual wise. Obviously there's so many, but I just would like to understand there's no right and wrong answer here. I just wanted to understand why did you go into this business? Alright, let me start with you know, Tony? Do you know what's your reason why There's no right or wrong answer. So for them, it's more of the product, and because Nora is very, very convincing, so they were convinced. <laughs> 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 Anything you can add about Tony? Oh, whatever. He just says. <laughs> 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 Anything else? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the opportunity. The opportunity. The opportunity. Yeah, I, I, I know you, you enrolled in sometime in October and yeah, you didn't October. do anything un, until we met in January, I think, or February. February. Uh, February. But good is you can see the opportunity from there. Uh, Roger. For me, it's a right when Sis Nora she invited me uh, invited me to, to watch the presentation. And, uh, for me, uh, okay, I said, I'm going to go and just, for me, it's um, for her benefit. And, yep. and at the moment, I didn't, I did not go on like um, when we talk about the business, but maybe we can go through the... <laughs> opportunity to be able to help people like doing this for example sharing the knowledge of the product and the business and um, and that is what that is what I like most you know um, I mean most of you I couldn't have known if not for this business for that matter you know and uh, I, I love sharing I love doing presentations I love training people so that's the thing that I like now this is what they call the why. The question is, do you know why you have a why? Why is there a why? Oh, why? 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 Ah, why? Why? <laughs> why? Because it helps me inside of my brain and tells someone, my television mm -hmm. type person, mm -hmm. to use that. Mm -hmm. Because then I have, uh, it's not a false thing. Because if it was a false way, I wouldn't have gone anywhere selling it or anywhere asking people to use that. Yep. So it's more like helping that person also mm -hmm. to use that. And um, it's from my knowledge, it's coming honest, honest sort of thing, you know? What yep, I mean? yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that, that is part of the why yeah. you join yeah. the, the, the business or your interest is on this. Like I said, I like helping yeah. people. But my question is why you have a why? Why do we have a why? Why Why all of this? What's with all of this? Why? If, if we have a look, all right, let me give you some time. Uh, all of this uh, can be summed up into something like because of this. That's why, that's why we want that, we are probably dissatisfied with our current health, we probably are dissatisfied with our current uh, income, you know, or your job, you are not satisfied with where you are right now, you certainly want to retire from work, and, and that is the why, that is the root cause, you have to have that, we all have that, we are all dissatisfied in one form or the other, that's why we wanted this. That's why, that's the why of the why. Now, obviously there are two types of dissatisfaction. One is constructive, the other one is destructive. We are talking here of constructive dissatisfaction. So, with that dissatisfaction, it creates your why, which is your goal, right? So we call that your uh, desire. That's your goal. Desire, um, vision, objectives, goals, or whatever you may call that. Well, obviously, a lot of people are dissatisfied with where they are and wanted to do this, but are doing nothing. Right? And I remember in my college days, I had this very, very uh, friendly conversation with my brother, one of my brothers. 
and he asked me that question. Um, he said, why are we, we have all the education and knowledge, why are we still poor? Why are the Lusitan or, or why is uh, Henry C, they don't even have education, why are they rich? And I said, look, basically we are the same in the sense that we have a goal, we have a desire to be rich. We dream, right? The only basic problem is they did something to achieve the dream. We continue to just dreaming. That's the main difference. And like you, and like so many others in the world, millions, so many people always like this. When I was in the Philippines, and I was talking to, to my uh, nephews and nieces, and they said, you know, life is difficult, how we wish we could be like that. But when I ask them, what are you doing in your life to achieve that? They can give me an answer. So don't blame the world. Blame yourself. You know, because if you want to achieve that, you have to do something. Right? So from here, going there, it cannot happen overnight. Correct? Like, like what we are doing. Nobody told you, or at least not me, that you come and join them tomorrow you get rich. I didn't say that. We showed you some earnings based on rankings, that's true, but you will have to work for it. The good thing about this business is the, the, the playing field is, uh, is even, so regardless if you just came in or what, if you work harder or smarter than those who did it, then you go and overtake them and earn more. So, we need to be consistent on what we do, so there are things that we need to do. We need to, for example, attend trainings like this. We need to do some research or at least study what I gave you, the files and everything. When I started, it's almost about, almost two months every day I have to spend long hours just to, to get all the information because this is more, uh, well, it depends on you, you know, how you're going to get this information. So you have to be consistent in the, in your um, pursuit of this business, which again I use the other D, which you should have the discipline. Discipline or consistency. It's not, I know some people at first when they join, they get excited, gung ho, and everything, then after a while they die down. We call it the Gandina Skugun. Um, and no, you cannot, you cannot. To be successful in doing that. You have to be consistent and I don't mind if you uh, do step one step at a time for as long as there's that consistency. Now basically when, when you try to invite people, it's very common people will tell you, oh sorry I'm busy, I don't have the time. And for me I find that rather amusing. Anyone in the world, in this world, regardless how poor you are or how rich you are, we all have the same 24 hours in one day. So don't give me that excuse, right? And most people who do that or give that as excuse, either one, they're just lazy, uh, two, they're afraid of, of failing, they just don't want to try. And, you know, look, my, my, my advice to you, if you really think like that and you've done everything, forget about it, just move on, you know? Because even me, um, my work is a mobile banker with Commonwealth Bank. So uh, I am holding office at home. And most people will say, very good, you own your own time. I'm telling you, it's bad. Why? Because the work doesn't go away. When you clock off in your respective jobs, that's it. Me, I can't. It's there. People reading me in the 